February marks the 25th anniversary of one of the worst rail disasters in Canadian history. In 1986, a Via Rail passenger train heading east from Jasper slammed head-on into a CN freight train just outside Hinton, Alberta. 23 people were killed, 71 others were injured. 86-year-old Kenneth Cuddle, who lives in Victoria, was on the Via train. A News reporter Eric Thompson has more. Kenneth Cuddle is one of the survivors of that train disaster. He says he will never forget that morning. Hard to forget something like that. Kenneth, thanks for coming in. Let's talk first of all about what you remember on the day of the crash. You were sitting in what we call the observation car. What did you see? Yeah, the dome car. I, I'd actually um, been in Jasper. We'd stopped at Jasper and I had a stroll around Jasper with this, this English tourist, a young fellow about 25. I didn't know him, we just balled up. We got back on the train and he wanted me to go with him to his carriage where he was sat. I said, no, let's go up in the dome car. We'll get a good view. The sun's just coming up. And it'll be something worthwhile seeing. So that's where we landed, up in the dome car. And did you see this crash happening? I was sat looking forward towards the train. And he was like where you are now. And the train, suddenly I saw lights flickering in the trees quite a way off and I assumed it was another train coming towards us but I also assumed incorrectly that there was two lines and it was going to pass but it didn't the two trains hit head on we were doing I believe they said an inquiry about 70 odd miles an hour and the freight train which should have been on a loop line but had come off it was traveling downhill from Obed Lake and that was doing over 50 miles an hour, which was far more than what it was supposed to be. What was the moment of impact like for you? I said at the time, and I'm still going to refer to it the same way, it was like a mini atom bomb. There was a, a huge pall of black smoke that formed a mushroom, and that was when we hit head on. And then everything was in the air. There was massive long steel pipes, there was everything you can imagine was airborne. Tonnage up there in the sky coming towards us. Unfortunately, it stopped right before the dome car. All the other carriages were crashed and, and flattened. Anybody in there had no chance at all. Quite a few people died. 23 died, 71 That's... injured. There were five people in the dome car. You were one of them. You helped the other four get out, and two of them in particular. Tell me how you managed to help them. Well, I said it was, fortunately, the damage that was coming like a tidal wave our way stopped just before the dome car, but then I was thrown right over backwards, right down to the end of the carriage with this guy on top of me, the young guy I was talking to. I was up immediately, looked up, the dome car, the, the glass in the dome roof was cracked. I went straight up, jumped on a chair and went head first up through the glass and I sat there a lady who'd been sleeping alongside came and I lifted her up and she said I'm gonna get down and I said something very naughty I said but F say you know get cracking and then the young fella helped him up and the other two guys were coming towards the the part that I'd smashed open the avenue of escape as I call it and then I jumped we are out of time, but you have a very quick message for the government. You haven't heard from anyone in the government at all, federal or provincial. No. And you were hoping that at some point they might recognize what you did and the fact that you had gone through this ordeal. Yes, a little something to get off my chest. In the latter years of my life, I would like to get some recognition from the governing body. I may be the unsung hero but I played my part. Maybe the time has come for them to play theirs. And thanks to the media who have publicized the events of this tragic disaster throughout the passing years. Thank you. Ken, thank you for joining us. Okay, no nice problem. Nice to meet you. Ken Cuddle, one of the survivors of the Hinton train crash.